British Academy Television Awards. I am your host, Sue Perkins, but you might know me best as Anne Sue. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Not another woman hosting an awards show. <laughs> when will it end? It's a little like Haley's Comet. Just a little less, little, little less frequent. Um, whatever happens tonight, I promise to deliver you a strong and stable BAFTAs. <laughs> and what a lovely set. All those awards there. Olivia Coleman's looking on thinking, oh, that reminds me of my downstairs loo. <laughs> Actually, to be serious for one second, each of those faces represents a celebrity who didn't make it back from this series of The Jump. <laughs> Lovely to be here, of course, at the Royal Festival Hall, or as the Queen calls it, one's iPod. <laughs> of course, it's usually a place of culture and refinement, but uh, that'll change now Mary Berry's in. All right, Bez, there she is. <laughs> Bez -a. and she'll be pressed up against one of the casualty hunks. <laughs> Nothing less than a senior registrar, mind you, because she's got class, that lady. Now, before we get started, can I say what a pleasure to be in the same room as some of the most hard-working people in the country. <laughs> Obviously not us here. <laughs> We're just zoo animals congratulating ourselves for figuring out how the food hatch works. Talking about the public up there. Hello, everyone. <laughs> The woman in the front row has just realised this isn't a Bella Bartok one-act opera. That was, that was last night, love. Absolutely <laughs> livid. So, who else is in the crowd tonight? Tandy Newton is in the crowd, everyone. The wonderful Tandy Newton. <laughs> and, of course, we learn so much from the brilliant line of duty. Trust no one. The police have the right to be questioned by an officer one rank superior and never, ever tell your wife that her wrist stinks. <laughs> Don't do it. Night Manager was an incredible show, wasn't it? Incredible show. <laughs> Not nominated, but it was an incredible show. <laughs> It, you know, but as I've learned recently, with democracy, you don't always get what you so passionately want. I'm not allowed to say any more than that. <laughs> but I'm going to anyway. How the hell did Italy not win Eurovision last night? <laughs> they had a gorilla dancing to a house beat, for goodness sake. <laughs> I tell you, who is nominated for the night manager, though, and that is the wonderful Tom Hollander. So who would have thought that Hugh Laurie could do such a convincing British accent? <laughs> Drama is going from strength to strength. How amazing were Vicky McClure and Morven Christie in The Replacement? Yeah. <laughs> a show about how stressful it can be when someone takes over your job. <laughs> I mean, I really couldn't relate to it. Genuinely, hand on heart, the very best of luck to the new Bake Off team. They are going to need it. They're about to discover what Mel and I left for them in the ground sheet. <laughs> Great to see Anton Deck here. Anton Deck, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Doing what they do best. Ruining the entertainment category for all the other nominees. <laughs> and big shout out for Strictly, which has had a monumental year. Monumental year. Who'd have thought watching Ed Balls ride a woman's face around the stage to Gangnam Style would be the most normal thing to happen in politics all year? <laughs> and of course, rather sadly, Len Goodman has left the show to spend more time with his family, especially his wife, who he says is a southern. <laughs> Top Gear was back. My favourite episode was the one where Joey gets everyone fired. <laughs> get a knockdown version of it on Amazon. Amazing what you can order online when you're drunk. Uh, play Grand Tour. Playing Grand Tour. Oh, and uh, sell my personal information to unspecified third parties and don't worry about paying tax. But you still use me, don't you, Sue? Yeah, 
Yeah, but, but walking to a shop is so hard now. Sue, can I confirm your 430 hot stone massage with Professor Mary Beard? Right, stop. 